I'll be right back with you guys. Give me one moment. <laughs> Thank you for calling JMJ Web Design. This is Fran. How can I assist you today? Hi, and welcome back to our episode. If, if you know, you know, where Fran and Vanessa, we keep you up to date about all the latest things happening in technology. If you know, you know, the Department of Justice is suing Google again. Um, this time for illegally dominating the digital advertising market. If you remember correctly, um, we actually already covered this last time the DOJ was suing the suing Google, and this that time was for violating antitrust laws. So they're in hot water again. The government is really starting to crack down on privacy policies. And speaking of lawsuits sephora currently has their own going right now with a 1.2 million dollar lawsuit happening due to not having privacy policies on their website speaking of data tracking if you know you know we have been waiting for the ultimate answer to the death of cookies and we may be getting close um you know how when you swipe up on someone's instagram story or you press link in bio um that's called an in-app browser tracking yeah, in-app browsing data um, is the new way of collect collecting your data. You know, whereas traditionally or typically tracking data is usually thought of from one location to the next online. Um, but in actuality, if you are on an app and you click on an ad, then people can track your data. People are tracking your data, so... And they're tracking every part of your data like they legally when you are in an in-app browser tracking they can track everything you do from anything you enter while they're you're in the in while you're in the app they mm -hmm. can track anything that's on your phone and they can track any clicks that you make while you're in app browser tracking mode mm -hmm. totally you know how they want to share and access your contacts just for that reason get access to your data share this information with your contacts it's easy to promote their products so in app browser data it's going to be the new trend going around the internet right now um just just so you know um <laughs> also if you know you know another possible loophole or answer to the Go google's cookie death is zero party data so zero party data is a little bit different from verse party data Whereas first party data, like when you sign up for an app, they make you put in your email address. Um, but let's just say for like a, um, a food service app, a food delivery app, you put in your email to sign up, um, but zero party, that's first party data, but zero party data is when um, you, it determines what restaurants you like based on where you order from. And it helps recommend restaurants that you may like. That's zero party data. And that's based on tracking your data. But it's a loophole because you're technically volunteering that information by telling them who you like. With these loopholes to cookies, um, users are basically, as Vanessa said, volunteering their data and the app has access to take this information and use it how they please, as long as you agree to it and you consistently use it. So reading is definitely fundamental even when it comes to the fine, especially when it comes to this fine print and contracts. But we also want to clarify that data tracking, as scary as it sounds, is actually not meant to be malicious. It's to help you enjoy an app better and make the services that you use through the apps you use better and more efficient for you. So even though you should read the fine print, it is a good thing. Tracking can be good. Mm -hmm. And if you know, you know, it was recently announced that Walmart will be teaming up with streaming partners to promote their uh, membership of Walmart Plus. Yep. So if you sign up for a membership program at Walmart, you may get a streaming service as well. Don't forget, we're starting a mini series about all the topics that we talk about in our, if you know, you know, way more in depth because um, we only cover them very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so be sure to look out for that. Thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you next time. And if you aren't already subscribed to our channel on YouTube, go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button. 
See you next month. Bye. Bye.